Blame you if you did. All I wanted really was to get a closer look at that black stallion. Oh, he was beautiful. I uh, didn't mean to get that close. I did. I was trying to catch him. Oh, I'm sorry. No hurry. Tomorrow's another day. I'll get him. For yourself? For sale. After I break him. Is that your work? Right now it is. We better get after them horses. You should get out of those wet clothes as soon as you can. That's exactly what I was thinking. risk my own neck for a gal as fetching as that one. You got a one-track mind, Turk. Maybe, but if I'm gonna be tromped on by horses, there better be some more pay in it than just a thank you. We're new in this valley. We can use a good reputation. You mean that's the reason you say that, gal? For a good reputation? It's getting late. Let's forget the horses and get back to the others. We'll hit that farm as soon as it's dark. <laughs> Swamp? Alongside the stream in McCollamy. Well, you surely you didn't fall in. As it happens, I was, well, pushed in by a young man. Who? I guess it was probably the most thrilling experience of my whole life. It uh, wasn't Amos Carver's son, Tad, was it? Sounds like the kind of trick he'd pull. <laughs> I don't think it's anyone you know, Nick. No? Well, try me. Many people in this valley I don't know, you know. Now, uh, let's see. Was it, uh, Chet Beamish? Why must you assume it has to be someone you know? Uh, Audra, if you were dunked, we are merely trying to find out who did the dunking. He didn't dunk me. He saved my life. Saved your life? From a herd of wild horses. Well, why in blazes didn't you say so? Because you didn't give me a chance. As usual, you were all more interested in finding out whether your little sister, who happens to be well able to take care of herself, was pushed into the water by the right kind of man. Your kind, not necessarily mine. All right, all right. Audra, we're very sorry. Uh, but who was he? Whoever he was, I'm very grateful to him. I'd like to meet him and tell him so. I forgot to ask his name. <laughs> 
<laughs> Lloyd, I think. But I'd know him in a minute. I mean, you just can't forget what he looks like. I don't know, just there's something so different about him. How do you happen to be up there on the McCollamy? He catches wild horses, sells them when they're broken. You seem to know quite a lot about him. I'd like to know more. happened to anyone else, Harry? Two, three of my friends. Graf, Bauer, Jamie Drum. I don't know of anyone else. How did they answer? Like the note said, I guess. What choice have we got, Nick? You either pay or you see a lifetime of sweat go up and smoke. And that's still your choice? I don't know, Victoria. I paid them all I've got. When you hear that pack of hounds coming, your blood turns to water. And you pray for God's wrath to strike them dead. I'd say you better start shooting first, pray later. They'd wipe me out. And Margaret, the kids? Yeah, this won't solve any problems, but it might settle that stomach of yours. You're all saying the same as Nick. Shoot it out with them. It may not come to that if they know you have help. My boys, some of our hands, the sheriff. Jamie Drum went to the sheriff last week. They got wind of it. Burned his barley field and fouled his well. The sheriff ain't even a notion who they could be. Nor you. All I ever seen was notes like this. Not even a guess. You're welcome to this if you feel you have to pay. They'd burn me out if I didn't. Oh, I know they did damage enough to frighten you. But I believe men like that back away when they see you're determined not to yield. Now, you were free the first time, but once you paid... Well, here's the money. I don't believe I'll be needing that, Victoria. Harry, first thing tomorrow, we'll find that pack and drive them right into the river. I'll be waiting for you. I guess all I ever really needed was to open up to folks who don't scare. Thank you. Good night. they treat you, those folks at the big house? Were they understanding? How much they give you? Nothing. You get no more from me. Is that what those Barclays told you to say? Maybe you forgot to tell them how we've been protecting you by sucking their life out of me, like you've done to the others. You pay only for protection. You're not being very sensible accusing us of anything else. I'll accuse you, all right. You're all a bunch of thieving hoodlums! Scum! I'm gonna prove it. I, 
I know you. I've seen you in town. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna go... Something stronger tonight than coffee, Lloyd. You nervous, Turk? Because I'm not. Wasn't what you planned, killing that farmer, was it? Anyone else worrying about what happened tonight? Keep worried, Lloyd. They're gonna be looking for his killer. They won't look here unless we give him cause. We're following our respectable traders' mustangers for a couple of days. We'll be busy breaking them for shipping to the cavalry after that. What about them other farmers, Lloyd? You gonna forget about them? I'm forgetting nothing, Turk. And I'm gonna make sure they don't forget us. Or talk back like Coleman did this evening. Those words are put in his mouth about the Barclays. Since as soon as we're ready, we're going after them. Might be shooting a little high, Lloyd. They own half this valley. And if we get them, we'll own the other half. Farmers around here don't think for themselves. They turn to the Barclays the way Coleman did. There's nothing can stop us once we get the Barclays. Big plan like that's just what I've been waiting to hear, Lloyd. We're starting out early after those ponies. Let's get some sleep. <laughs> Lloyd? Boys are all with you, Lloyd. They'd better be. They know where they'd be without me. Where are we going when we leave here, Lloyd? Don't tell me you're homesick. Ain't you? For what? There's nothing left in the South for any of us, Fancy. Don't you ever think about it? Your home? Your family? I only think about tomorrow, not yesterday. I'll find what I'm looking for right here. It'll be big. It's gotta be bigger, I might as well be dead leaving our dead in the hands of the all-loving Father. We pray for his strength to endure and his guidance on the way. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and bring you peace. Amen. Don't touch me. You just leave us alone. You Barclays are to blame that he's dead. He come to you for help. Instead, you told him to stand up to them. Like a fool, he listened to you. All the help he got from you was a bullet. And you killed him just as sure as if you'd shot him down yourselves. Come, Chuck. Let's go home. felt about it. And besides, you offered him the money. Would that change the fact that we influenced him not to accept it? I don't think we can blame ourselves. What else could we have done? I don't know, but what we did was too easy. We weren't in Harry's shoes. We didn't have to face what he faced or live with his fear. I thought I understood how he felt. I didn't. All right, if we went too far, then there's only one thing to do now. Go further. Now, I don't know how much Harry knew about that gang. But it's certain the others he mentioned must know a little. 
If they'll talk after this. They've got to talk. Asking men to risk their lives and without any more law to protect them than Harry had? No, no, I don't think you can expect that of them, Nick. I do, because I expect it of myself. And I'd say the same thing to Harry right now if he were alive. They might talk if every farmer in the valley agreed to stand with them. But that would take time. And they're bound to be holdouts too frightened to join in. No. No, I think one man might be enough. One man? How? If he had the courage to refuse to pay and knew that we were with him, he might act as a decoy and bring him out in the open. Sweet as honeysuckle, Graf. What are you getting for tokays now? Price don't change much. 45 cents a crate, about. Less what you pay those jackals for letting them ripen, huh? Graf, how long are you gonna stand still and let that gang of killers squeeze you dry? And they will, you know, just like that. Nick, I got a little place. I work hard. Graf, we could trap that gang if someone were willing to go along as a decoy, and you wouldn't be alone. We'd be there waiting for them when they came. It ain't that I'm scared, Nick, but I gotta think of Lottie. I don't want to have her left a widow like Margaret Coleman. You can't say for sure she won't. No, I can't. I wish I could. You're asking too much of me. It would be willing enough I'd be to do it if I was a single man. But none of us is that. It is a big valley, this. And there's nights with not a body for miles around. Well, there won't be any more nights like that, Jamie. We'll have all the guns we need. Aye, but they're shrewd. Never a sight of them do you see when you expect to. Jamie, have you ever seen any of them face to face? Never. Just the masked and hooded men coming at night, asking pay to protect me. A man must be prepared to die if he's to be their decoy. And I'm not brave enough for it. We'd do it in your place if we could, Jamie. Aye, right, but they, when they go after a Barclay, in their evil way, because their dirty hands are in my pocket, they let me live. I'm just mortified, sir, but my dance program's filled to the very last waltz. Some other time. Uh, <laughs> Woo! Oh, Declare, I'm just about the most sorry after Belle of the Governor's Ball. Buy it for me, Lord, honey. How much? Well, that one's kind of high. Fourteen dollars. Ain't too high for someone you love. Put it on the bill. <laughs> Looks like you recovered. Oh, yes. No ill effects at all. Did you? I never felt better. I was going to look for you. My mother would like very much to thank you. All right. I'm not much of a hand at being thanked. I think she'd understand that. I reckon she would if she's at all like you. Order's all ready for you, Miss Audra. Got the buggy outside? No, just my horse. Might be a little too much for just the one horse. But not for two. Where do you live? Oh, it's not for me. It's for the Coleman's. Hmm. That's the man that we shot the other night. I'm just taking a few things over for his family. That's, uh... Very thoughtful of you. Boy, I guess we forgot to introduce each other. I'm Lloyd Garner. I'm Audra Barkley.
she's at home. Some things I thought you might need. Your family's conscience bothering them, Audra. Gifts won't heal it. You just take what you brought and get off this place. And don't any of you Barclays ever come back here again. Take it too hard, Audra. She didn't mean it. She does. And she has every right. My family told her husband to stand up to those men who shot him. About it tomorrow. Will she? She just needs a little time, that's all. I'd still like you to meet my mother. Would you have supper with us? All right. Tomorrow night? It'd be a pleasure. Do you know where we live? It's the first thing you learn when you come into this valley. Would you come in, please? Lloyd. Dinner's going to be late. I, I hope you don't mind. The family's busy with a visitor. Whiskey? Brandy? No. I don't drink much, thank you. Cider, how's that? Just fine. Why don't you sit over here? It's my father's favorite chair. doing here? I know you catch wild horses, but where's your family? You really do want to know about me? Everything. Well, for one thing, I have no family, no home since I was 10. The kind I did have died. I was killed when the South was overrun and the Union Army marched to the sea. I'm sorry. That was a long time ago. How did you live? Same way as the soldiers. Off the country. Foraging. Sleeping in fields, caves. Running. Always running. Just anywhere. To get away. To hide. There was a few of us stuck together. Safety in numbers, we thought. Kept moving. Always moving westward. Have you stopped running? Perhaps. Guess I could settle in a place like this. It reminds me of home. Where do you live now? We have a camp. Not that way. Beside the Calaveras. It's good grazing for the horses, till they're ready for I'm sale. I'm glad you changed your mind, Jamie. 
You're a very brave man. It's not so brave I am as practical, but I must keep myself respectful. You won't be alone, Jamie. We promise you that. Thank you. I've kept you from your supper. Won't you join us? Thank you, but I'll eat at my own hearth and enjoy it for the first time in many a day. Good night. Good night, Jamie. Good night. Good night. We're late. Do forgive us. Audrey's made it. Time fly, Mrs. Barclay. This is Lloyd Gardner, Mother. I'm glad to meet you. And you must know how very grateful I am to you. Audra told Don't me Don't embarrass you... him, Mother. Well, a mother's gratitude, thank you. This is my brother, Jared Lloyd. How do you do? And Nick and he. Hello? Eddie. Oh, I uh, hear you have a way with horses. I think so. May I offer you a drink? No, thank you. Well, now, Mr. Gardner, where are you from? Georgia. Georgia? Well, you're a long way from home. Oh, home's been most any part of the country with me for quite some time now. Tennessee. Kansas, New Mexico. New Mexico? Have you ever been to Santa Fe? Yes. Well, I have a very good friend there. His name is Miguel Escobar, raises cattle. You don't by some chance know him. Please stop interrogating him, Jared. <laughs> well, I certainly hope it didn't seem like an interrogation to you. Not at all. Come on. You must be starved. <laughs> That all you can say, that it isn't what you tell that Barkley gal. That's enough, Francie. Hey, Lloyd. What are you on? We're riding out to the flats tomorrow to pick up the money from that farmer. You going with us? You can forget it. I saw him. He was at the Barclays. And they're setting a trap. We go up there. Every farmer, every deputy in the valley be waiting for us. Does that include the Barclays? They won't stay away from a chance like that. Well, then maybe this is our chance to hit them while they're gone. You was after information up there, Lord. Looks like you got it. Nothing can stop us once we got the Barclays. Ain't that what you said? No. No, it's too soon. Well, maybe we can do it ourselves. If it's that Barclay gal that's bothering you. She's got nothing to do with it. The only thing that girl means to me is information. The more she talks about a place, about her brothers, the easier it is for me to know exactly how to handle them. And I say we wait. Settle on him, but he'll need careful handling for a few more days. Of course, he's gonna cost you. How much? A couple of hours in town tonight, having supper with me at the hotel. Tonight? I don't know. It's, it's very short notice. There's a pleasure in doing things on impulse. Oh, I love being impulsive, but... Are you afraid of me, Audra? How could I be? You saved my life. I, there's a special reason why I want you to have supper with me. What is it? Well, it's kind of a celebration for us. For us? If it hadn't been for him, we'd never have met. Well, bye, Jimmy. All right, Lloyd. Ah, where'd he come from? He's mine, a gift from Lloyd. That's a fine-looking animal. Saddle broke? Close enough for Audra to handle the rest. Uh-huh, we'll see. I'll call for you at six. You, uh, going someplace with him tonight, are you? Mm-hmm. To town for supper. Sure does work fast, don't he? Didn't have to say that. No, but it is true. And you think so too, I suppose. Well, I don't know about that, but he sure doesn't stint on the size of his come on, now does he? You're impossible, both of you. Heath. Brown up the men. I'll get Jared. Oh, and uh, make sure they have supper. I got a feeling it's going to be a very long night. Something bothering you? 
bother you tonight? No. No, nothing. I thought perhaps I wasn't as good company as you'd hoped. Oh, don't ever think that, Archer. It couldn't have been nicer. You're wonderful. So quickly, there was nothing we could do about it. Was anyone hurt? We lost three horses. Four. How did it happen? We found this on the porch. They want two thousand dollars the next time it'll be the house. And I'll tell you what they're going to get. Nothing. They've gone as far as they're going to go. Would you excuse me, Lloyd? I think I ought to be with my family now. Sure. May I call on you tomorrow? All right. <laughs> over the vet first thing in the morning. When he checked out, he's pretty badly singed. Nick, what? Could be I'm not making sense. Maybe not even worth mentioning. What? Garner? Well, what about him? When was the last time we saw him? This morning, when he when he brought that stallion. Yeah, and the time before that was when he was here for supper. What are you getting at, Heath? Both times he was here, so was Jamie Drum. Now, he could have overheard us talking in the hall. So was Silas in the hall. Nick, who else but our own could have known where we'd be this evening? Except Garner. Well, he, he was he was with Audra. Well, the rest of his pack of coyotes weren't, if they are his. Uh, that's mighty little to go on. It's more than we had till now. Audra, we saved that stallion Garner gave you. I'll tell him when he comes by tomorrow. Aren't you moving pretty fast? Why don't you slow down, little sister? You hardly know him. But I do. Yeah, what's there been, a week? That's long enough. Or am I still too young to see him again without getting your permission? Look, we've had a little bit too much on our minds to be pestered with callers. Now, we're all overwrought. Audra, come on, we'll get some good night's sleep. Nick? What was that all about? I don't know, I don't know, Jared. He's got some wild idea that Garner is mixed up in all of this. You got anything to go on? I do. Not enough. Let's hear it. countryside for miles around. <laughs> I bet we got every little old sod buster in this valley just a shaking in his shoes tonight. <laughs> but not the Barclays. Mm. Yeah, we'll know about that tomorrow. I know now. Funny thing about you, Lloyd. Being so sure you could get the Barclays. Looks like the only thing you can be sure of now is you can't. <laughs> well, me and the boys have nothing different. Since when have you or anyone else started to do the thinking for this outfit, Turk? Ever since you've been getting the information while we've been taking the risk. Well, you just remember this. I taught you how to stay alive. Without me, you'd be starving in some southern swamp. 
sniveling about what those Yankees did to you. Don't try doing the thinking again for this outfit, Turk. Turk? You think them Barclays will pay tomorrow? If they don't, we'll burn their house. Would you tell Miss Audra Lloyd Garner's here? Oh, yes. Won't you come in? This way, please. Mr. Garner, may I get you a drink? No, thank you. Mm. You're here to see my sister. Yes. And her brothers aren't tactful enough to get out of the way. <laughs> well, she should be down directly. Why don't you come on over here and sit down, Mr. Garner? Right over there. Say, by the way, I imagine you'll be happy to hear we managed to save that fine stallion you gave Audra. I'm glad, for her sake. Must be worth quite a bit of money. Would have been, I guess, if I'd put him up for sale. You know, I don't like to offend you, but it kind of makes me uncomfortable to see a young man giving gifts he can't really afford. What makes you think I can't afford it? Well, we hear you've got quite a little family down by the river. Keeping them fed must cost quite a bit. We live a pretty frugal life. We've been living that way for a long time now. And we're not complaining. Well, now, that is a rare virtue, especially for around these parts, isn't it? Hmm. Well, I'll go see what's keeping Audra. Well, what about it? He's got the right speech. It could be him. And that horse out there looks like the same sorrel. All right, Jamie. You won't be seeing Audra today, Garner. Something wrong? Whatever's wrong is not with Audra or this family, but with the Valley. And it's been wrong ever since you and your gang of Mustangers got here. Is that a coincidence, Garner? Or would you happen to know why? Do the Barclays always suspect a stranger when something happens? Only when there's good reason. Now, according to this telegram, the same thing that's been happening to the people in this valley happened in Santa Fe this winter. That's where you were last. Or is that a coincidence, too? It's not proof of anything else. Looks like questioning any man who's friendly with your sister is one of your favorite pastimes. Excuse me. Tell me something, Garner. Whose money paid for Audra's supper at the hotel last night? Was it the money you got from Mr. Graff? I'm not answering any more questions. Now, if you'll get out of my way. Couldn't have been Harry Coleman's. He turned you down. How about Hank Bauer? I know he's been paying. You're wasting your time if you think you can trick an admission out of me. I don't know those men. You're a liar. A liar, Garner. A cold-blooded liar. You put the squeeze on Coleman just like you did the rest of them, and then when he stood up to you, you shot him down. Isn't that the truth, Garner? Admit it! Isn't that the truth? Admit it or I'll beat it out of you! Get up! Get up. That's enough, Nick. All right. You're gonna tell me the name of every farmer you put your filthy hands on. Nick! Now tell me, Garner. What are you tell doing? Let him go! I'm gonna tell me. Why? You better tell the sheriff. What are you doing? Tell her why. why. Tell her why. Let her tell you. She knows me better than you ever will. Let him go. It's all right. He won't get far. Could you? Audra. Audra, he, he's a cold-blooded killer. Kill his own father for a dollar. He killed Coleman. Audra.
you all get packed and saddled up. Then we'll head north across the line to the Klamath. We'll meet at the falls. That's a far piece, Lloyd. I... Don't argue. Just do as you're told. And you're giving up on the Barclays, is that it? And all that talk about owning half the valley after we got them? Wasn't nothing but talk. I misjudged them. They won't pay. You don't know that for sure. All we did was burn one barn. They'll change their tune after we burn the house. I told you we're moving out. Moving out's what he says. What he means is we're running. Hold, hold, someone's coming. What are you doing here? I couldn't believe what they said without asking you. You shouldn't have come. You said I know you better than they ever would. Do I, Lloyd? Do I? No use, Audra. Just won't work. I think I should know the reason. Forget it. Just mount up and go home, that's all. Why, Lloyd? What? I said that's all. <clears throat> kind of stupid letting her go, Lloyd. Barclays pay now. Put the money in a saddlebag and leave it at Oak Flats before noon tomorrow. Do not tell the sheriff or anyone else if you want her back alive. I should have killed him. Seems we have no choice now. We have a choice. The same one Harry Coleman had. I know now how he felt and how much courage it took for him not to give in. There must be something, something we can do. What time is it? Two o'clock. Quick with the answers. Smart Alec answers shooting off my mouth of what I'd expect for myself if anything like this ever happened to us. Big, brave Nick Barkley. Big mouth, Nick oh, Barkley. Nick, don't. Don't! Don't what? Don't admit we're human beings because we are, and that's a fact. We're as human as anyone else. And when we're pinned to that wall, we pay. We have until noon tomorrow to do that, Nick. Jared, we can't take the risk of... I know the risk, Keith.
this outfit's just been promoted to number one. Permanent. <laughs> Got it. And without no information. Hundred. See this? Hundred. Twenties. Look here. Got it. Got it. Huh? Go now. Fifty, fifty. I didn't say she could leave. You don't need her now. That's right, I don't. In fact, she'd be kind of a nuisance all around, her knowing who we are and all. Let her go, Turk. We can be out of the state before they even know we're gone. Get out. I said, get out! Robin! Where are the others? Answer him. Where are they? He's waiting in camp. Well, darling, aren't you overdoing? I'm going to ride him. I like to break him myself. Can't hardly tell which one of you worked the harder. Look at you. No question. Me. <laughs> will be nuzzling sugar from your pocket in just one more day, son. There ain't a thing on this place that boy can't do. 
Not one single thing. I know. Back in Orleans. You ever figure to have a son like this, huh? I never did. Still hard to believe. <laughs> Two years, she still can't tell what hit her. <laughs> I can tell you, Miss Marvin. He's a preacher. And him asking you, do you take this man to be your... You ever feel sorry? Oh, Doc, don't you be silly. Henry! Thought you might like to take a look at these survey plans of the railroad spur. Make sure they don't lay that track right through your living room. <laughs> <laughs> I sure would. Young lady, you look prettier every time I see you. Well, then I'll have to ride over more often. <laughs> this time I came by to get some money from you. Fifty cents for the church supper at our place Saturday night. Fifty cents? Mm-hmm. Well, that's half a day's pay. If I know you, you'll eat more than that. We're never going to get to study those plans standing around out here. Put your shirt on, son, and come on in. Seeing how half this thing's going to be yours. Right, Paul. Paul, did you like a cool drink? Mm, sounds wonderful. That's for me. Therese? Darling, I have to get my roses into water. Oh, well. Be sure to come early Saturday night. You bet. We'll need some help with the tables. <laughs> <laughs> You like her, don't you? Who, Audra? Mm -hmm. Never thought about it. She has. <laughs> I don't mean a thing. We grew up together. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot the engineering notes. Here. Well, don't get involved with her. Not for your sake, darling. For hers. to the Jacobins. Yes, why? Well, would you stop at the Marvin place for me? Henry likes to check his olives against ours. I meant to send them with you when you went over with Jared, but... What's the matter? Did you and Will have a fight? Oh, no, it... Well, it's just that I feel so awkward whenever I go over there. I keep remembering Mrs. Marvin. I mean, the real Mrs. Marvin. Oh, Audra. Therese is the real Mrs. Marvin. Well, I know, but... Well, he didn't have to marry again so soon. It, it was only a year. He was lonely. People do lots of things when they're lonely. Never mind. I'll send them over with Diego. Oh, that's all right. I, I'm going right by. I don't mind. Not really. Spurs ready? Tomorrow, maybe. If you ask me nice. Well, you said you'd have them two days ago. Well, now, looking at a pretty face like yours, a man don't hardly know what he's saying. I'll expect you to have them tomorrow. Early.
Yeah, walking. And it's the last time, too. Oh. Seeker, no drinking on the job. Awful hot in here. I ain't heard nothing. Except me. My horse threw a shoe again. Well, can happen. No telling when a horse Second is Second time in ten days, up by the river. I had to walk him all the way back in. Now suppose you walk on over to the office and pick up your time and get out of here. The sooner the better. Bring somebody? Nope. Just brought something over for your father. Arthur? Well, darling, what a nice surprise. Almost as uh, pleasant as it is unexpected. Hello, Mrs. Marvin. Hello. Uh, Mother sent those olives over for your husband. Oh, thank you. You mean you rode all the way over here just for these? Well, I could have picked them up tonight. Tonight? It's her supper. Oh, I told you, over at the Barclays. Oh, darling, I'm so terribly sorry. Sorry? <laughs> sorry for what? Well, the Wadens are coming over for dinner tonight. Well, they're sure not coming to see me. Well, they come as much to see you as any of us. Really, darling, the way she fusses over you... Worth getting away just for that. What time? Well, it, it, it really isn't polite. Half past seven, okay? That'll be fine. Uh, hey, who you got me sitting with? Me. You want your money back? Can I get it? Nope. Well, then I guess I'll just have to suck. <laughs> bother you too? Billy. Um, how's the supper? Good. Real good. Night. Well, uh, about this afternoon, I guess that's why I really waited up. I, I just had to make sure that you understood. Forget it. I can't. I uh, wouldn't want you to think that I... I don't. Oh, I knew there'd be other Saturday nights and other suppers and other girls. I just couldn't stand to see you hurt your daddy. Hurt Pa? Well, darling, you know how proud of you he is. How he loves to show you off to all of his friends. It just isn't right to disappoint him, to hurt him. It isn't right to... to hurt anyone who loves you like that. But, uh... I never did mean to offend you. So, uh, kiss and make up? <laughs> well, there's no need to argue about it now. There's uh, plenty of time to talk things over. Will, um, uh, your uh, daddy's got to sign some papers. He's, uh, He's going over to the Barclays Monday morning. 
Monday morning, I'll be in town. Any more left in there? Uh, that's it. Well, what do you say you and me go get a beer, huh? I'll be right with you. I gotta stop at Sun's house. Cold beer, please, Frank. Hey, don't you think you better take it a little easy? Nick, Nick Barkley. Hey, no, 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 come on. Now, you listen to me. Your father happens to be a very dear friend of ours. And I don't think he'd like it too much if he knew I just stood around. Can't what? stand nobody's pleasure, can you? Come on, Will, let's go. Come I on. think maybe the poor boy don't want to go home. Well, now, it don't matter much what you think. It matters to me when I see a fella needing a drink. You're in the way, Singer. That's so. Well, why don't you just move me out? <laughs> on your beer, Frank. I understand, Nick. All right, Will, let's go home. Well? Thank you. anyway. in his life. He's a fast learner, I'd say. Not wine, no whiskey, nor anything. That's the way I raised him. And I don't think it funny for you fellas to wet him down and dump him uh, and try to laugh no, no, at no, all. Wait a minute. Are you trying to tell us that we brought him back here after we got him drunk? If you're looking for someone to tar, it seems to me you're looking in the wrong direction. You raise a colt, you teach him to carry a saddle. You raise a man, you teach him to carry a drink. Come on. I know it sounds horrible, whiskey to cure whiskey, but it really does help. It's called Hair of the Dog. Mm. You're very difficult. Then you always have been. You never did know what was good for you. You should have stayed home with me today. We could have talked, 
You wouldn't have gotten into any trouble. I'm all right now. Not yet. Now, you're not ready to face the world yet. You rest nice and easy. The rest will tell you when all the whiskey's gone. I suppose it had to happen sometime. But you didn't have to go and get yourself sick over it. First drinks like anything else. First look at the ocean. First ride in a train. First love. First heartbreak. A stolen kiss. You do that to him? In his own house? You're dirt. I'm young. Oh, well, I've tried. You don't know how hard I've tried. But I'm just not cut out for an old man's darling. And don't you try to make me say I'm sorry, because I'm not. I'm not sorry, nor shame, nor frightened neither. Because I know that this is real. It's clean and it's good. You're trash. You're filth. Don't say that to me. Please don't say that to me. You do that to him? You're the scum of the earth. My own father. He's not your father. What'd you say? I said he's not your father. That's right. He took you out of an orphanage, and they were glad to get rid of you. He agreed to keep you, and you were 24, and he had himself a free work hand, a slave, and that's all he ever wanted anyway. You're lying. I found the key to the safe. It's in his will. That's why he never lets you have a drink. It's in his contract with the orphanage. Oh, Will. Oh, darling, it doesn't have to be like this. I love you, Will. I've known it for months. Oh, please, Will. Please love me too, Will. Get out. Please, Will. Get out! <laughs> down to supper. <laughs> it's his first time. He hasn't learned you got to make yourself eat. Darling, I'll come with you. It's mighty sweet of you nursing them all afternoon. I don't know what I'd do without you. He wants you down to supper, sugar. Boy, you'll feel better with some food in your stomach. You gotta try. Will? Well, he's just a shame, darling. He can't face you yet. He's so very young. Now, don't you let it spoil your dinner. Please don't worry about him. He'll be back. Come on, darling. Come on. Oh, come on in. I think Audra's in the living room. Well, what do you know? You can even walk. Well, how nice to see you. How are you, Miss Barkley? What happened? Your paw kick you out just for one little drunk? Oh, Nick. We were just going into supper. Won't you join us? Didn't come for supper, ma'am. Oh, something else? Job. A job? 
What's the matter, Will? Doesn't your father have enough work for you? Always work to do, I guess. Comes a time when a man's got to break away. Start making out for himself. I thought, you know, being friends, I... I see. Well, Nick does the hiring. Just so happens I'm short one man. You any good in the forge? Job needs doing, I can do it. Thirty dollars a month and keep. Tell Mac I said put you on, all right? Thanks. I wonder what happened. I wonder. Everything look all right to you, Will? I'll make out. You know, I don't like to pry, but... Well, I've known your father a good many years. As a matter of fact, he was one of my first clients. I wouldn't like to see him hurt. Maybe you ought to think this over a little more. Thought it over. Well, you know, sometimes things seem a lot worse than they really are. If you've had some little difference of opinion. Well, nothing like that. We get along fine. Well, then it seems to me he'd be hurt all the more. You know, Will, your father's had a lot of hurt in his life already. All those years, your mother was sick. I really think the only thing that got him through it was you. I don't think you have any real notion of how much you mean to your father. You can stop playing games. He's not my father. Who told you that? Don't matter who or how, I found out is all. Pick me out of an orphanage. Could have been me or any other. One, two, three. There's one looks healthy and strong. Signed papers and put a ring through my nose. If I tried to run, he could have hauled me right back. Well, I don't think you run away from someone who means as much to you as he does. Is there some other reason? No. None. I told you. There's no other reason. Just... They let me think I was his own or so. Jared, believe me. Let it drop. Please. I wish I could. And I will. for the hour, but I'd like to see Henry. It's rather important. Of course. Um, won't you come in? Thank you. No business this morning, Jared. I've been up half the night. Will's gone. He's disappeared. Not even a trace. I know, Henry. He's over at our place. He rode over last night and asked for a job. Why? For no reason? Not even a word? Well, he was pretty worked up. He, uh, he knows the truth about himself, about the orphanage. He couldn't. He couldn't miss and you let it out. I think you know better than that. You're the only other one that knows. It's written in my will. You have it in your safe right now. You have a copy, too? Under lock and key, like it's always been. He didn't get it from me. Who told him, Jared? I wish I knew. Henry, you mean Will isn't your son? Oh, darling, why didn't you ever tell him? We meant to. We always meant to. It, it's just that the right time never seemed to come. Maybe it's because we didn't want it to come. Maybe it's because we loved him too much. Thought that if we told him, he'd understand that we weren't just holding him. 
Must have been something else that made him run. I'm afraid you'll have to ask him. I'll ride over and bring him back. Henry, wouldn't it be better if Will came back on his own? Oh, just you wait and see. He'll come running back. The first little spat he has with Audra. Now, if you don't mind, I want to make sure that Henry gets some rest. He's just been so upset, poor darling. I'll stop by tomorrow, Henry. Goodbye. I know what's really bothering Will. It's that girl. Audra? She wants Will, and she won't stop at anything. But you're a man, darling. And I wouldn't expect you to understand. No. It's only lemonade. Listen, this is my drink from now on. Thank you, Mother, will you? For what? She's in town with Eve. Well, then, thank you. <sighs> Almost got away from me. You told Nick you could handle a forge. A forge, not a fire. Takes a man to do both. Left some tools. Moon, they got my mark. trying to talk to me. Darling, I was hoping to talk to you. Alone? Of course. Was my mama. I wouldn't argue with her. My family's away. Oh, my. This is a wonderful room. Every time I come here. You know, my daddy used to keep his guns just like this. And it's the time I watched him oil and polish. You wanted to talk to me? Yes. Send him home, Audra. You can't hope to hold him. I'm not trying to. I, I didn't even know he was coming. Well, of course you have to say that, darling. I understand completely. Oh, but there's nothing... But sometimes that... you can't do what you want. Sometimes you gotta stop and think of others. Do you know what you're doing to his daddy? I'm not doing anything to Mr. Marvin or Will or anyone else. Now, if you'll excuse me, please. Don't you have to be princess with me. I know exactly what you're up to, sugar. Little Miss Soap and Starch Country Girl. Don't know A from B or which from what. Gonna be pure shock to death when I tell her. You're not the only one he's looked at. That's right, little country girl. Things like that happen. Everywhere I go, everywhere I turn, he's been after me, me, for months. I don't believe that. You're second choice, darling. Strictly hand me down. I think Will ought to hear this. Order! What's the matter? Why would 
would she pick up a gun? I don't know. Well, there must be some reason. Audra. Well, she, she was saying such wild things. That I said I was going to get you, and she grabbed the gun and... What kind of wild things? She said you were always after her. It was the other way around. Well, it would kill Paul when he finds out the truth about her. Well, you should have seen him when he brought her home. It was like she started a whole new life for him. I mean, he never had much of one before that. Not with Ma and her being sick all those years. I can say it was an accident and not tell him the rest. No, the sheriff will be asking questions. The sheriff will know what to do. Listen, I don't want you to have to lie. But it's not really a lie. It was an accident. Oh, Will, I thought you... Mother... She... I did it, ma'am. It was an accident. Well, I thought I heard somebody. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, did you give me a hard time. But it don't matter now that you're back. It don't matter one bit. <laughs> it just goes to show you what pure foolishness a man can do. <laughs> I should have told you about the orphanage. And I should have told them how to hold a drink and not worried about them taking them away. Paul, I got plans for you, Will. I got big plans, yes, sir. Start today, Will. Paul, will I you want stop? You, I want... Will you... Will you listen? Well, is something wrong? Paul... Oh, don't please, you'll hurt yourself more. What happened? I asked you what happened. It was an accident, Henry. Over at our place. Your place? She came to get me, Pa. To bring me home. We was in the gun room with Audra. Audra? Audra killed her? No, Paul. It, it, it was me. But it was an accident, Paul. She, she picked up the gun, admiring it like. And Audra told her to put it away because, well, it, it might go off. Paul, then I reached for the gun and... Paul, it's the truth. Truth is, it was the girl's fault. That's pretty wild talk. She didn't tease him to come over there. Therese wouldn't have had to follow after him. And she wouldn't be lying dead in the wagon. Oh, no, Pa. Underneath that pretty face and that sweetness. You're wrong. Pa, if you just stop and listen. I gotta make arrangements. I don't know yet. Steve just said he wants to see us. Steve? Yes, 
sorry to have you ladies drive all the way in, but uh, I'm afraid it was necessary. Miss Barkley? Mr. Seeger, how nice to see you sober. Sober on the day of the shooting, too. So I can recall it real plain. Now, Bert, you weren't there. Nick ran you off last week. I leave in time to pick up my tools. That's why I went back. All right. Now, you tell them what you told me. Sure. Like I just said, I'm getting my tools, and Mrs. Marvin rides up and says, the girl, I want to talk to you inside. So, the two of them go in the house together. Just the two of them? There was just two of them in there when the gun went off. That's not true. Will Marvin says he was in there also. Now, why would he lie? He's stuck on a girl. Want to help her out, wouldn't he? Maybe save that pretty neck from a stretching. Mr. Seeger, I've lived here a good many years. I've seen men lie for a drink or a dollar. But to lie out of mean personal spite, to try and destroy a young girl's life... I warn you, Mr. Seeger. When we get through with you, there will be no place in this entire valley that you can hide. No place. I'm just telling what happened is all. No, I've been figuring on moving down Fresno way. But if you need me for the hearing, I'll stay. Ma'am. Audrey. He is lying, isn't he? Now, that don't mean I can keep his mouth shut. Now, he'll talk his head off in the inquest. Inquest? I didn't think you needed an inquest. I've got to call one now. Friday afternoon, 3 o'clock. Here. just be talking to us, you'll be talking to a coroner's jury. Most of them friends of Henry's probably just come from the funeral. They'll be feeling sorry for him. I know. That's why you have to be absolutely sure of what you're going to say. I'm sure. Is there anything you've forgotten? Anything at all? Nothing. It was an accident. You'll swear to it? Yes. Now, you say she picked up the gun and Will grabbed for it. Yes. So Seeger is lying. Yes. Audra, I'm only trying to help. Now, come on. There's nothing to be frightened about. You know, the word accident can mean a lot of different things. If Will grabbed for the gun because he was worried, that is how it happened. You keep asking me. I'm sorry, but if it did happen some other way... I told you! I mean, he could have grabbed for that gun for a lot of different reasons, if Therese were angry or upset. She wasn't! You're sure? Yes, he wasn't even in the... He wasn't even in the room. You were the only one there with her. Yes. It was you who grabbed for the gun. She picked it up. I was so frightened. Why? Why? She was so angry, so, so wild. Why? Why, Audra? I can't tell you. Audra, Jared can't defend you unless you tell him the whole truth. Oh, honey, I can't build a wall without any bricks. Oh, Jared, I don't want to hurt anybody. Who? Audrey, if I have to ask you all night and all day, I want to know who it is you're protecting. Now, listen to me. I've got a pretty good idea already, but I need to hear you say it. Jared, I can't tell you. You'll have to ask Will. There he is. If I was you, I'd take it slow and easy on him, Nick. Heard tell you can catch more flies with sugar than with vinegar. Yeah, I know, but I don't happen to be hunting flies. Come on, get. Just coming over to see you. What? What's the matter? 
Well, I just thought you'd like to know that Audra's got us worried. She seems pretty upset since she heard about that inquest. Inquest? Seeger told the sheriff you weren't even in the room when it happened. Oh, well, you know Seeger. He's lying. Is he? Well, Audra finally broke down. She said the same things. Now, Will, what is all this about? She said you could tell us. But there must be some mistake. Oh, no, no. No, 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 no mistake. She's holding something back. There's no question she's scared, and so are you. Are you going to tell me why, Will? Now, if you're telling the truth, let go of my horse. I'm afraid this isn't going to wait. Look! All right, now, boy, are you going to start talking? Hey, oh, that's enough! Oh, no, I've just started. Now, boy, you better start talking while you can. Let go! When you... Come oh. off! Well, just pure boy spirits, I suppose. Just trying to dig the truth out of them is all. Well, wait a minute. Well, brother Nick, with your usual flair, you've locked the cage before we caught the bird. Well, someone had to open him up. What are you doing here? I was hoping to talk to Will. some things to do, Pa. Kind of got behind. Well, I guess I just can't get used to the quiet around here. And I thought you'd be home for... What happened? Nothing, Pa. It was nothing. You don't get cut up like that for nothing. Who done it to you? Well, you take my word for it, Pa. It doesn't matter. Well, it matters to me. Now, who done it? You have a run-in with somebody? I ask you a question, son. I like an answer. Now, who was it? Nick Barkley. Why? We had an argument was all. Just an argument. Over what? Look, Pa. A girl? Why? You know something they don't want you to say. Like maybe you never did go into that house after all. Maybe it was just Audra and Therese. Maybe it wasn't an accident. No, no, you're wrong, Pa. It's just like Seeger says. All you see is the girl. I don't count for nothing with you. You're wrong, Pa. Don't talk like that. All right, I'll give you one more chance. Say what you know. Tell me what it is Audrey don't want you to say. All right. I left some supper for you. Go in and get it. Open up! Come on, open up! Open up, or I'll have to bust it open! Henry! <laughs> you! You're the one I want. That's a pretty face, all right. No wonder the boy can see nothing else. No wonder he couldn't see the blood on your hands. Yeah, he could have told me. You killed her, didn't you? You picked up that gun and you shot her down when she tried to get him back. Just a minute, Henry. Come on now, admit it! Henry! I think you better go. You'll pay for this. You'll all pay for it. For what you've done to Therese. What you've done to me. Pa! I heard you right out. It's just as well you're here. You can tell her for yourself. Tell her you can't protect her no more. Don't you look at him like that. He's gonna tell the truth. He can't cover up no more. I'm afraid no one can cover it up any longer, Henry. They couldn't tell you about Therese. Because the truth is, she came here for Will. She came because I wanted him back. Because she wanted him back. You say just what you mean. 
I think you know what I mean, Henry. I always thought you were a decent man. I'd heard rumors about her before, but I guess I never wanted to believe them. Then after the shooting, I had to find out for sure. I checked up on her in New Orleans. You went prying behind my back. I asked questions, I got answers. She was 17 when she took her first husband. Two years later, he was killed in a duel involving her honor. Four months later, Henry, she married the man that killed him. The lies, all lies! Less than a year after that, he brought suit for divorce. The charge was adultery. First her life, and now her good name. Don't part, true, he's right! He's telling the truth. She was no good. That's why Will had to run to get away from her. She thought that I was keeping him here and said all sorts of things. When I told her I was going to go talk to Will, she... She grabbed the gun and... He couldn't tell you. He couldn't hurt you. He loves you that much. If you change the line a little and put the railroad spur through here, yeah. it'll be better for both of us. That's pretty fine orchard land. Put in a crop of peaches, apricots, plums, and that'll cut the loading costs down, way down. That's a good idea you've got. He got it. <laughs> I learned him pretty fair, huh? Pretty fair. Mother's setting the table for lunch. We were hoping you'd stay. Well, yes or no? It'll be a pleasure, Audra. I'll join you in a minute. It's good to see you smile again, Henry. Well, I'll tell you, Jared. Deep down, I guess, I always knew about Therese. But I put blinders on. Made a deal with myself. After all those empty years, I... Try to buy what time I had left. You had two good years. She was so young and pretty. Always laughing. Can't be sorry for that. Let's have lunch. 